Shiener and welcome to channel. I got a lot of questions about how I set up my Fanatec wheel, the settings for the first feedback in Cardcraft and just how to avoid spinning in Cardcraft. So I'm just gonna go through my settings and if you're looking for settings that get rid of oscillations with the Fanatec DD, uh, this is not the one. I can't get rid of the oscillations but that is a non-problem for me because it only happens when you really release the wheel. But before we jump into the, the settings for uh, the first feedback, I'm gonna show you a few tips on just how to avoid spinning with the, the cart in Cardcraft. All right. So you just got Cardcraft, you played a lot of other racing games and sims, and you decided to drive some carts. And on the first lap, you just spins on every corner and think there's something wrong with the game actually i think you turn the wheel too much it's not necessary to turn like uh, you can't turn like uh, the other racing games uh, if you do that you're gonna spin very very small inputs is needed to uh, make the court turn uh, it, it's just the way how it's constructed uh, i'm gonna show you some tips here so, to get smoother, try driving with one hand for a couple of laps and then you notice you don't have to turn much because it's so much harder to turn with one hand, especially have the, if you have the high, especially if you have the post feedback pretty high. So just go a few laps with one hand and uh, then you realize, yeah, you don't need to turn. When you get comfortable after a couple of laps, or maybe when your arm hurts because it's really hard, you just switch arm and go for a couple of laps. That way you train yourself to be smoother with the wheel and also training the strength in your hands and arms to, uh, to be able to drive more consistent and smoother. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's look at the settings. All right, here are my Fanatec settings. Uh, maximum steering angle. 180 degrees that is actually important i'm gonna show you why right now actually if you don't have it at 180 if you have it more say 900 degrees and then you uh, do the setup in Cardcraft to um, uh, get the correct rotation in game you still gonna get a very hard uh, soft lock after full lock like the wheel is bouncing back at you it's very unrealistic you don't have a strong steering servo on a cart and uh, you just, yeah, it's very uncomfortable you're turning and then you like get this really big jolt in the wheel. So set this to 180 degrees and uh, tune it in game after that and you don't have that problem. It just goes, yeah, like soft, no, no uh, big jolt in the wheel. Um, overall strength 100%. Force feedback scaling peak, natural damper 60%, I, I think it's good. Uh, natural friction off, natural inertia 5%, force feedback interpolation filter. I have this at 6 because this game has a very rough force feedback, very noisy, a lot of track details. So uh, raise this volume to get, uh, or this value to get it more smoother. Uh, yeah, you can also lower it to get a little bit more, more noisy in the wheel, but I think six feels good and everything else is on 100 okay let's look at the game settings all right input this is my settings force feedback gain 84 percent you can have it higher but then i think it starts clipping in my case so uh, i have it at 84 percent force feedback filtering 60 percent this is the same setting as uh, the fanatec uh, filtering I was talking about before. It's a very noisy force feedback. You feel every bump in the road and you get really violent. Uh, but I think yeah, 60 works pretty good. Otherwise you get a really sharp uh, force feedback effects when going over curbs and stuff. This smoothens it out a little bit and feels more comfortable and more, more real in my opinion. Uh, you still get a very strong pull in the wheel but it's not like on and off feeling. It, it can be without the filtering. Uh, everything is 0% or off and yeah here is the steering make sure to uh, do this calibration 
off to you uh, change the rotation of the wheel so turn the wheel 90 degrees press the button and then to the left and then we, there we go it's calibrated correctly and now i can show you how it is when you don't have it to 180 degrees in the fanatec settings here so we change this up to maybe 900 910 then we go into input and do the calibration again now let's jump into a practice session okay here you can see the wheel is behaving strange when reaching full up not not realistic at all so make sure to change back to 180 degrees then do the calibration calibration in game again and i can show you the difference there we go and now reaching full lock no nothing it just a little bit damping but you feel it's getting there is maximum lock but you can turn the wheel more but it's, yeah, it's getting heavy but it's not that weird this feeling so make sure 180 degrees so you get rid of that could be annoying you don't reach full lock when driving but it can be annoying when turning around off the spin or something and then you got this ugh, thing going on uh yeah that's my uh, my settings basically yeah you make sure to just practice uh the getting the feel for uh, for the cart and don't turn too much smooth inputs and on the steering wheel and even on the pedals yeah i can show you one more thing actually uh if you just started playing cartcraft the um, the brake force is I would say it's pretty realistic, but it's pretty high to what you're normally used to if you're playing uh, other types of racing games. So uh, just you, you can lower it just a bit uh, to make it easier in the beginning, in the tuning, brakes, or maybe, I don't know what the default is. I'm running 75% now because I'm actually pretty used to how the brake behaves. You don't want to push it too hard, you, you spin in an instant, so maybe try it. 60-70% to start and you can race it when you get comfortable with it. And I also... Um, uh, let's see... Oh, this is a stock setting, I think. But one thing that can uh, help is to actually uh, decrease the, the caster in the front. To maybe 11 and a half. That's, that's what I uh, usually go with. And you can also offset the rear tires a bit if you th if you think the the cart's rotating too much. It makes it a little bit more uh, not so snappy, a little bit little bit more understeer, but easier to control. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Uh, the settings, the force feedback settings, are not optimal for everybody, but I like them, and you can't get rid of the oscillations, sadly. Um, but uh, it's only a problem when you uh, letting go of the wheel really alright, thank you very much for watching take care and I see you in the next one cheers <laughs>